Hey guys, Paul, Inventor 3 here, back at it. Uh, today we're going to be experimenting with a bunch of different diodes. I think I have like eight different ones we want to experiment with today. Uh, some of those were requested by you, the subscribers. Let's see. Uh, so I spent a lot of time soldering a lot of circuits together. I... Uh, Got up on a ladder and a long pole, trimmed the trees higher. So I got this up about two and a half feet higher. And that end about another foot higher. So with that said, let's start off and see today. This is our usual 1N, not those. This one right here, 1N34A germanium diodes. Uh, D07, I, for, I think that's the case style, I forget. Okay, so let's see, we're not using the coil today, okay, because I don't want that to affect any of our readings. So we just have our antenna coming from way up there. And the white wire here is our ground. Going to our ground rod, okay. Those coils are not in the circuit at all. And, okay, let me connect that up and see what our voltage is on that right now. Oops. I almost forgot. Let's look at that data sheet. Pause the video if you need to. Okay, here's our final voltage on that one. Uh, fluctuates a little bit. I'm going to call it 8 volts. I had 8.5 at one time. I had 7.5. I guess it depends really if the you know cloud passes overhead or changes. Uh, fl might fluctuate plus or minus a half a volt. So I'm going to call that 8 volts though. Okay, the next one we're going to try real quick here is the 1N34A DO35. Looks a little bit different than those. So, and uh, I folded the capacitors on the inside the circuit just to make it look a little neater, but I actually don't like that because I was able to pick them up very easily by this <laughs> and now I lost my little handle here <laughs> okay anyhow uh, let's see data sheet on that one pause the video as you need to okay uh, I'm gonna call that about 8.3 volts that's not bad either now that's uh I see it's gold bonded germanium diode I had to write that DO35 on there because I kept clicking on the PDF link that did say DO35 but when it pulls it up it only says 1N34 it doesn't even have the A on there so it makes me wonder. But anyhow, yeah, let's say 8.3. Let's go on to the next. Okay, this next one is a BAT43. And there's the data sheet on that. And hold on, there's a second sheet. Okay, let's see what we get from those. 
Okay. Now this is one I just read about online, the BAT-43. I was doing some research myself online. Uh, it was just a hair over, it was a 8.1 a minute ago, so I'm going to call this one 8 volts. Another one. Okay, on to the next. Okay, this is the next one, 1N4750A. There's the data sheet. It's the silicon power Zener diode. Can you see that? There, I think that looks better. Let me show you the next page. It's two pages again. And it's right hold on, down there. Okay. And let me hook that up and see what we get from those. Okay, this one's taken a long time. That 1N450 or 4750 there. And it's only given us 4.4 and a quarter volts. It was 4.3 fluctuating again. So we'll call that four and a quarter. Okay, here's the next one. It's a Jan 149-1N, I'm sorry, Jan 1N4971. Here's the data sheet. Uh, yeah, I got a big list. Oh. I, uh, let's see here. Sorry. It's the title's at the top. And we're down here. Okay. Now this one, let's see, what was the thing with this? Um, oh, there's a video when John visited uh, Russ, uh, I forget how to pronounce his last name, Grease or Grice, uh, RW Research. And they were walking around with a diode in this video. And I'm going to put that uh, video link in the description below the video here. Um, except this is a Jan 19497, whatever. Uh, but in the video, he used a CRL. 1N4971, which of course we cannot find anymore. So anyhow, let me hook this one up and see what we get from this one. Alright, well that's a bummer. And something strange. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting a negative voltage. Uh, hmm. I'll have to check out those components. That's strange. Um, alright, well, I'll have to check that out and, uh, I got the what are these shadows. Um, I got my stripes on the right side with my negative over there. Uh, hmm. All right. Well, let's move on to the next diodes, and I'll have to investigate that at a later time. So that's unfortunate. That's strange. But anyhow, I'm going to mark that down in negative one and a quarter volt. Huh. 
All right, we'll be back with the next circuit. Uh, I just removed the white ground wire from the circuit. Uh, it went up a little bit, but now it's going back down. Well, that was strange. All right, that's still that last same circuit. I was just... All right, now let's go on to the next circuit. I don't know what the heck's going on there. Hmm. Okay, this next uh, diode is interesting too. Let's see, this is a 1N4005MT. Um, now when I was talking about John, I'm talking about John Hutchison. Uh, he also sent me this diode a long time ago. And this is an ITT 1N4005. And you can see I got 0 0.3 volts in the sunlight. And this one's weird too, it's hard to see, but uh, like Russ and John were talking about in their video too, this is not like a glass. You know, it's got a blue case on there. It's like the sun, you know, I don't know, there's gamma rays then going through the case itself. But that's strange. But these look completely different. You're not going to find that exact one again. But here's the data sheet on that one. Okay. Let me hook that up and see what we get off that. Okay, that one gave us 4.8 volts. That one took a little longer to get up there. It's still fluctuating a little bit, but I already saw it go down some too. It's not going up much higher. 4.8. Okay, let's get on to the next one. All right, this next one I'm gonna try is 1N4003DO41. Uh, now, strange thing about these diodes is, among all these diodes I ordered, I don't know why I ordered this one. <laughs> I didn't even print the data sheet on it. Um, somebody suggest this one to me I, I don't know why close to some other numbers I don't know why but let's see what we get from this one we'll be hook that up and be right back okay the result of that one say five volts All right, we only got two more diodes to try out. Both were suggested by subscribers. And we'll be right back with the next one. Okay, this next one is 1N4148 diode. This was suggested to me by cruise missile. Um, Whoops, 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 let's get some light on there. And here is the data sheet. Okay, let's hook that up and see what we get from that one. Okay, 1N4148 suggested by cruise missile. Good job, buddy. <laughs> 8.7. Let's call call it 8.7 that's the best out of all of them so far 
8.75. All right. Good job. Thank you. And uh, maybe we'll have a replacement from now on. Uh, we'll be right back with the last one. Okay, guys. Last one. BYV27-200. This was suggested to me by... In a couple videos, SC13NT first, 1ST. And this is a glass zener. It sounds good. Ultra fast avalanche sitting glass diode. Okay, let me hook that up and see what we get off of that one. Here are the results. A little over 3 volts. Kind of fluctuating there. 3.1. 3.2. <laughs> well, a lot of the ones I, I wanted to try myself and read about aren't that great either. So far, that looks like a winner. Uh, real quick, I'm going to check uh, our original germanium diodes again. And... Uh, Check the two best check the two best diodes again one more time. This last one by cruise missile again was a small signal fast switching diode application extreme fast switching silicon, which really surprises me. Hmm. Alright. We'll be right back. Okay, this is uh, hard to see there, but this is our standard 1N34A D07, 8.1 volts. This is the 1N34A D035. Eight point six volts. Okay, and here's cruise missiles again, 1N4148. Not 8.7 now. Now these last three I measured rather quickly. So there was very little time for any kind of weather conditions to change in between. So I don't know why we're not getting a higher voltage on that one now. We just had 8.75 a minute ago. So, but anyhow, this one still seems pretty darn good, too. So, this is really up in the air here. 1N34A D07 and D035s, and this one, 1N4148. Well, guys, I think this video is getting a little long. We made it through all the diodes. Oh, the sun just went behind the clouds now. Whew. But alright guys, we'll see you in the next video.